Hey yo, Val Venus, what the fuck is going on? Yo, what the fuck? Why he lifting his shits up? And what the fuck he got a towel in the undies? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Anyways, y'all, I was going to react to that video, but it's very similar to the one I just did, you know, with McQueen and his perspective and just everything. So it's all really the same stuff. But yeah, that was kind of like cringe. I didn't want to like, sorry, that episode of WWE, I've been long gone. I know it was part of the Attitude Era where Val Venus was like, hello, ladies. I ain't fucking with that movement. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, though, we're going to watch this one. It's called DDG admitted he was wrong. McQueen's cut from the squad. Now, I've already called this all out. Y'all already know what time it is, but... So far, it was so good, man. This season of uh, of Housewives YouTubers Edition was fucking lit. And then, of course, with this next episode of WWE, we're going to see who makes it, you know, road to WrestleMania. Of course, they're going to form the alliance, you know what I'm saying, where they're going to have their whole separation. But I already told you guys I felt like McQueen was going to be the target at the end. He got everybody supposedly against each other, and somehow everything comes back to him. We're going to check this out. It says DDG admitted he was wrong. Links will be in the description below. If you fuck with your boy, hit that like button, share. Especially subscribe if you have not already. Share out this video, man. It's all fun and games. We trying to have fun with this shit. Ain't nobody talking shit about nobody. That's fucking lame and that's whack. But I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's get this shit on and popping. And I also fast forwarded right here too. Because um, somebody time stamped it for me and said, yo, don't just be reacting to their whole vlogs, like their regular daily shit. Get to the point when, you know, the things happen. So I was like, I appreciate that. At least a viewer was keeping me updated with that. Because I don't know if y'all be wanting me to react to like the whole shit of them fucking eating breakfast and shit. You know what I mean? It's trouble. Just sitting in this car. I don't know what he be trying to be on. Oh, that's the G wagon. You already know I think though. Straight. Drop on your pocket. Something in my pocket with my phone. Nigga. Fucking idiot, man. All right, maybe I'm just paranoid right now. You gotta be paranoid. What you on? I'll be chill. I'll tell you this, man. Nick, yo, <laughs> yo, I fuck with flight. Yo, I fuck with flight heavy, son. I really fuck with flight heavy, son. But you can't deny the fact that my man's got a fucking whole finger as a head. Like his whole neck is long as shit. Yeah, that's my nigga, flight dog. I fuck with him, son. Doing, man. I don't. I don't know, man. He's a little bit too <laughs> too calm. Man, hospitality, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they trying to be nice and shit. Like, I mean, ain't no, ain't no smoke around here. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm just trying to see, like, where y'all coming from and y'all. Yeah, let me get some head at. Shit, I mean, we just got some new FTC merch. It's a new line, you know okay. what I'm saying? A couple that's of colors. Good. No, if he would have hooked me up with some FTC stuff. shit, son, I'll fuck with it, you know what, you know what I mean? But that's what it was, but, that's what it was $50, though. I ain't gonna hold you, Fly. I ain't making that much YouTube money to be spending $50 on a, on a walking L sweater, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm sorry, man. Mm -hmm. Snack? I can really get a snack? Yeah. Like Yo, alright, let I'll me. I didn't want to be the guy to say shit and comment on another man's crib, but Flay fucking clean. You know what? I shouldn't be talking. My fucking current situation is terrible. But in the case that flight, what the fuck you got going on right now? Nice apartment, though. Really nice. But what the fuck is this, man? This whole mess shit is making me fucking weird. <sighs> I'll stand if it don't matter. Y'all can sit or whatever. Yeah, you ain't never seen them. <laughs> hey man, that's you filled up with the snacks, bro. Gotcha. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You see, yeah, with, it, with this right here, it's crazy to sound. I know it's all fake, but it seems more natural. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like an awkward vibe. That's how it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? It seemed like more of an awkward vibe and shit like that. Even though we see through the bullshit, but. See, I fuck with this Talking shit so far. Stuff, man. I'm about to slide this way. All right, for sure. We gonna go from there. You, you got know, a little I'll game in the room and stuff. I'll know. bet I'll play the game. What you want? Hey, you straight? You, you straight? Yeah. What the fuck? You straight too? Yeah, I'm, I'm Gucci, bro. It was just... I mean, I don't know where to start. Like, I mean, I kind of do. I just felt like as if it was, like, wrong right. for, like, Queen to kind of get in your... McQueen to get in your ear. And just be like saying a couple things, and you just have a whole new perspective on me and shit. A lot of people in the comment section was saying like, Queen trying to um, make me not fuck with you and shit. Right. You know what I'm and it's kind of like, 
I got a problem with taking people's advice too damn much. But whatever y'all do, ain't really got nothing to do with me. Facts. It really, it, it honestly don't. And I feel like, um, I don't know, bro. Even in future perspective, if like anybody in the squad, not even just God in the squad or anything else, like you shouldn't let them come to your ear, even if it's with somebody else. Yeah, you, you know right. what I'm saying? That's it's just like a lesson. But I don't know, man. I think I'm not that type because I don't want to contradict myself, bro. But I think you might just need to watch your back with McQueen, bro. Like, ah, oh. mm, obviously oh, he's trying to start something in the whole squad. He's like poisonous. I feel like, but my thing is, I know McQueen before I knew anybody. Yeah. That's in LA. You know what I'm saying? I, I think Pooty, something's I knew given. Pooty, what's really, what's really fucks with me is I knew Pooty before anybody. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's like, I, just, I don't even want to get into that. It's just not even about that. But it's just like, I don't know. I feel like I can't really turn my back on McQueen because he's been my homie since I moved out here. Right, which is understandable. I'm just saying you just gotta watch your back because you seem like the type of person that wants to attract positive like vibes mm. in your life, and I feel like right now. So he knows what to say. Man, that's just thought. But okay, but this would be his argument though. Yeah. I'm not here to vouch for him or argue for him or no right. shit like that. I'm just saying like he never messed with anybody that related to you though. Well, I don't have nobody that's related to me that's doing YouTube. You're right. So. It was I'm, real. You came came at on some madness. You know what I'm saying? Pulled up. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna tell you before I even upload the video. I ain't know if he was gonna have some niggas here or what. You know what I'm saying? So me and Siante was planning. We came here defended. You know what I'm saying? We came here defended. It ain't it ain't even like that. I knew you wasn't gonna like do nothing. Or nothing right. Like that. But uh, we just came here prepared. But Fact, I'm glad. It, yeah, I'm I'm glad it went how it went though. Yeah, I'm not even the I'm not a negative nigga or a high head or anything like that. Yeah, I just like to keep. Yo, let's just make a quick prediction. I got a prediction that at the very end they're all gonna talk to McQueen and they're just gonna say, Yo, why you continue to start shit? And he's probably gonna admit to some other bullshit because they need to come up with a solution, right, to solve all these issues. Because remember, at the end of the day, they all cool. The person who tried to expose them said that they be all at the clubs together, and she took a picture of one of them. So you can't just go prolong this beef, you know what I mean? At the at the end, sooner or later, this beef has to end somehow, right? So that being said, this right here was a good way for them to squash shit. The whole Chark and Pootie thing, it just kind of like went with it, you know what I mean? So yeah, they shit is good. It's really about McQueen now and them getting McQueen good. But I will tell you this, within a matter of a week, they all cooked. McQueen hit that 400 and something K. And of course, DDG and Flight is cooking, Pootie, Shark, all of them. They all cooking right now, so obviously strategy. But if y'all do fuck with it and enjoy it, as long as y'all don't try to take sides on a threatful, you know, thing like y'all trying to threaten the other YouTuber, y'all can just enjoy these types of shits. You know what I'm saying? It's just fucking content. You know what I mean? Unless it becomes too generic and they keep doing it too much and they keep trying to push it like it's real, you know, then that's be when it becomes a problem. You know what I mean? Yeah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Heck yeah. Anything like else crossing your mind in this shit? You straight as far as everything else. Oh, nigga, happy birthday and shit, man. I appreciate it, yo. Yeah, True, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday to Flight, man. Real um, shit, man. All right, so that's pretty much it, man. Their beef is already squashed. I wonder, and I didn't see any videos with Pootie yet talking about DDJ. I think he had a response. I don't know how long that's going to go for, but I think now they're probably going to squash it all, so who knows? But I just know the whole issue was going to revolve around McQueen. We knew this already, man. We knew this shit was going to happen. There's not much for me to say other than this series is going by swell. You know what I mean? Some of y'all don't fuck with it, but it's all entertainment at the end of the day. Once again, if you fuck with your boy, subscribe to the channel. But yeah, God bless everybody. I hope you have a good night. And until next time, road to WWE WrestleMania. When that McQueen, they all get settled in. We're going to see who's going to win that World Championship title belt. I'm out. God bless everyone. Peace. Never told ya, never told ya. The weather's cold, we're getting older. Things even change when it gets colder. But we'll move on just like a mountain. Nothing is the sun and sky, the sun and sun. Those were the days we stayed.